AMD's given us old goods and can't work with new goods. Motherboards that connect from the back and this thing's faster than the 4090? Let's get in the hot news, everybody. I'm your Brett host. We're gonna be going over the hottest tech news I can find on the internet while you enjoy your breakfast. And we're gonna start off today talking about a new CPU that AMD's dropping. Get ready for it. It's the Ryzen 3 4300G. Yes, my friends, a CPU that is based on a Zen 2 process that came out in the 2020s is now officially being released at retail by AMD. This is something that is kind of late. A lot of the 4000 series APUs didn't actually make it to retail because AMD only wanted to ship them to companies like Dell, Lenovo, all of the types of OEMs that would sell it straight to you as a consumer. So that's actually how you usually saw a lot of reviews of these chips is that they had to buy them out of the system. Systems. But now finally AMD is bringing this to us, which kind of is how they've been approaching the low end side of their chip market. You see the cheapest CPU that they launched was the Ryzen 5 5600X at 299. The 5600 came in a little bit cheaper than that recently, but nothing under the $200 mark. And if AMD is gonna be giving us really cheap CPUs, it's gonna be stuff that's generations old because then they can actually make a decent margin on them because it's already been worked out as opposed to trying to give us something new that's good, that's capable for $99 and the last time they even tried to do that with the Ryzen 3 3100 and 3300X, they never really officially put enough stock behind them. And if you wanna know how the Ryzen 4300G is gonna perform, you can watch this video where we released a review of the 5300G, which is essentially the same chip. That's right, AMD released a follow-up to this CPU before they're actually releasing it to you that you can buy it. Get ready for it. But AMD, while they're giving us old goods, they can't get ready for the new goods, which is the Corsair and Crucial's new 24 and 48 gigabyte RAM sticks. This is going to change the market and how much RAM you can actually have in your system. No more 16 and 32 being the only options. 24, 48, 96, and 192 are now going to be the numbers. But AMD has not had official support for it at the current moment. B650 not supporting it. Intel has launched BIOSes that do support this RAM, but AMD hasn't gotten that far. However, some people have gotten their hands on these RAM sticks and installed them into AMD systems, and they've actually gotten the systems to post to go into the BIOS to properly display the actual amount of RAM. But when they attempt to actually go into Windows, it doesn't work and the system can't actually run it. So it, it's halfway there. AMD just needs to give a little bit more support for the weird RAM sizes. And another weird product Lee and Lee wants to launch us is the O11D XL case that's getting the EK Reflection 2 distribution plate with an integrated screen. That is right, my friends, a water block in a CPU case that has water cooling built into the panel. And now it also has a seven inch 1024 by 600 panel that allows you to connect it with an HDMI cable so that you can display whatever you want on that front section right down here. You can have the visibility baked in from the manufacturer level instead of having to install your own, which you can do. There's options for that on Amazon. You pick up little screen displays that you can pump out. Speaking of pumping out, I don't know if Reese is gonna pump out any UFD deals today because he and Catelyn are both meeting with my wife today. Like by the time you're watching this episode of Hot News, they will have already had lunch together in South Africa and I'm not bitter in the slightest. I actually hurt myself there. Yo, welcome back to UFD Deals, bringing you the hottest tech deals out on the internet, except for yesterday when I didn't. But I have deals today, specifically something I haven't seen before, which is a compact high refresh rate monitor. This Viotech GFV 22 CB features a 22 inch 144Hz 1080p TN panel and is going for only $114.99, which is 28% off. And then next up, we have this ASRock Z690 Steel Legend motherboard. Features an LJ1700 socket for 12th gen and 13th gen support with DDR4, which you can pick up for only $139.99, which is $32 off and the lowest price in 30 days. And those are the deals. You can find those and more link down below in the video description but until next time i'm gonna hand you off back to brett for the rest of your hot news cheers thanks reese i hope you feel bad because you you're hurting me and volkswagen allegedly feels bad as much as a corporation can feel bad for anything that they've done we didn't officially cover this in hot news we did do a short on this volkswagen incident which was about how there was a car theft that involved a child also being kidnapped and a pregnant mother being run over by the volkswagen car volkswagen has tracking built into their cars where you're actually able to find out where the vehicle is however because 
because the person didn't subscribe to the actual car tracking officially for $150 a year, Volkswagen chose to not help the authorities out in this instance. Volkswagen did say that they did have ways that the authorities could have worked with them and that it was a ball dropped on VW side. And they're going to be issuing a make good, which is going to allow for five years of this car connectivity, their car nut access to be rolled out to Volkswagen customers for people who have purchased a vehicle from them. Volkswagen says that this was a process failure. They're working to make it right in the future. The pregnant mother who got run over the last I heard is still in the hospital. The child who was abducted was found at several miles down the road, but is safe. And this is just a bad situation overall, but Volkswagen's trying, I guess. And in a little bit of a more lighthearted free update, Sony is gonna be bringing out the PlayStation 5 Discord access finally. They've had the beta access for their 7.00 firmware, which allowed for Discord access, 1440p VRR support. And now that's officially rolling out where you should be able to download it, even if you're not part of the PlayStation beta program setup, but you're not gonna be able to download Starfield, Bethesda's upcoming anticipated title until September 6th. Bethesda giving it another release date. It was supposed to be released in November of last year. They're gonna give a deeper dive on it on June 11th. And I wanna deep dive more in on these types of different products that are coming out. Asus announcing the B760M BTF motherboard, which is essentially a real departure from how motherboards are set up. If you just take a quick little look, do you notice anything weird about this motherboard? If you are paying attention, that's right. All of the power connectors, fan connectors, LED connectors are on the back of the board, which makes it so that your cables are routed through the back. Now, not every case that you're gonna mount this in is gonna be set up for this to be successful. This is gonna have to be a very well thought out situation, but because of the standards that we have with ATX and other form factors on motherboards, this is not really typical because cases don't allow for a lot of experimentation. This is slightly similar to what Gigabyte did with their project Stealth Build that you can see right here, which also had no cables except for this one went a little bit further because you could plug the GPU in through the back, whereas the Asus B760 board is just about the motherboard. And if you're all about that cash, that crypto cash, well, TP-Link ASIC has something for you. This is a miner right here. Look at that. That's a Bitcoin miner that, according to their reports, is faster than an RTX 4090. It can pull 1,200 watts, going to set you back a cool $1,990 and runs at 31.2 terahashes in Cadena Miner while also being a Wi-Fi 7 router. It's actually sounding pretty good. Too good almost too good to be true. A Giganto Wi-Fi router that's faster than an RTX 4090 at mining and also gives you internet. What? According to current profitability levels and the amount of power that this thing will suckle down, it's gonna give you a profitability of $1.40 to per day, which means it's gonna take you like four or five years to break even, except for in four to five years, there's gonna be more powerful technology and that's not gonna even happen. So you need the price of crypto to go up in order to make more money, except for the fact that despite the fact that this company is called TP-Link ASIC, which you would think might be the mining subsidiary arm of TP-Link, the company that makes all of your favorite routers. You think it might be their, you know, NFT future setup like Square Enix getting into the blockchain. It's it's not. It's according to TP-Link, this is a scam. This is not real. You shouldn't be buying it. The company does sell other miners. I don't know anything about them, but while it looks really good, too good to be true, it's because it likely is. TP-Link says that they're investigating. They're looking into it. It is likely a scam. Don't go and buy this. If you see this being reported on the internet, know that it's likely not something that you're going to need to pick up. You're just going to have to pick up my heart because I'm really mad that I'm not in South Africa right now meeting with Reese and Catlin. Ah, I'll see you tomorrow for hot news. Ugh.